this is Pat back with Pat's Two Cents. I want to kind of go through this scripture with a fine tooth comb. I want you to go with me. Now, this is when we recognize we need help. There is a serious problem in our lives. We don't exactly know how to navigate through that bad boy, and it feels like we are drowning in it. And we need reinforcements. We need help. We need prayer. We need understanding. We need insight. We need counsel. We need strength. We need help. Okay. Now, this is what I want you to hear. This is why the Old Testament is so important. Because it has insights. And the Holy Spirit will reveal things to you. Listen to this. Leviticus, I read some of it earlier, but I want you to hear it in detail now. Leviticus chapter 14 starting at verse 34. When ye be come into the land of Canaan, which I give you to possess, uh, I give to you for, for possession, and I put the plague of leprosy in a house of the land of your possession, and he that owneth the house shall come and tell the priest, saying, It seemeth to me there is, as it were, a plague in the house. Then the priest shall command that they empty the house before the priests go into it to see the plague, that all that is in the house be not made unclean. And afterward the priest shall go in to see the house, and he shall look on the plague, and behold, if the plague be in the walls of the house with hollow strakes, greenish or reddish, which is in sight are lower than the wall. That means like the surface of the wall, you got grooves that are lower if they're down in the grooves, okay? And, excuse me, then the priest shall go out of the house to the door of the house and shut up the house seven days. And the priest shall come again the seventh day and shall look and behold, if the plague be spread in the walls of the house, then the priest shall command that they take away the stones in the which the plague is, and they shall cast them out into an unclean place without the city. And he shall cause the house to be scraped within, round about, and they shall pour out the dust that they scraped off without the city into an unclean place. And they shall take other stones and put them in the place of those stones and he shall take other mortar and shall plaster the house and if the plague come again and break out in the house after that he had taken away the stones and after he has scraped the house and after it is plastered then the priest shall come and look and behold if the plague be spread in the house it is a fretting leprosy in the house. It is unclean. And he shall break down the house, the stones of it, and the timber thereof, and all the mortar of the house, and he shall carry them forth out of the city into an unclean place. Moreover, he that goeth into the house all the while, that it is shut up shall be unclean until even, even. And he that lieth in the house shall wash his clothes. And he that eateth in the house shall wash his clothes. Now, uh, okay, let me say this real quick. And if the priest shall come in and look upon it, verse 48, and behold, the plague hath not spread in the house after the house was plastered. Then the priest shall pronounce the house clean because the plague is healed. Now, I know that sounds really like, what? But listen, listen, listen. You have to be willing, number one, to humble yourself. Be truthful when you call for the elders of the house, the elders of the church, to come and pray for you and anoint you with oil. You have to be humble enough to let them know what your real problem is. That's hard, especially for you men. Real hard. That 
that's where humility comes in. That's where truth comes in. It's what a, Jesus said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. What are you going to do with that truth? Because hiding the truth will not set you free. Knowing it is good, but you got to bring that baby out in the light. Expose it. Good, bad, indifferent, whatever. Expose your truth. Get help. Be humble enough to ask for it. Be honest enough to reveal it. Now, moving right along. This past two cents, by the way. Okay. There are times when the plague comes again. The sin reoccurs. I'm trying to break it down every day. Language. The sin reoccurs. The problem rears its ugly head one more time, two more times, three more times, four more times. Well, guess what? There's a problem beneath the surface. There's a problem beneath your surface. What you see on the surface and above the surface is an indication of what's happening deep down within. What's going on inside of you? You have to understand that God is not just going to put a band-aid on your problem. He wants to deal with the root cause of your issues, the root causes of your sins. Some of your sins are not because you are bent on doing wrong. Some of your sins are because you are broken, damaged, and bruised. Listen, here's an example of that. If I sit here and I have a broken shoulder and somebody comes over and puts their arm around my shoulder to give me a hug, right? And it is in dire pain. I'm in dire agony now and they just add insult to injury trying to give me an affectionate hug because they don't know I am bruised, damaged, and broken and in pain. What am I, what might I do without meaning to hurt them at all? They might grab me and I might haul off and push them off of me. No! Now, that doesn't mean I'm angry with them. But, there's so much going on that I'm having difficulty dealing with that even a show of affection can result in a volatile response from me. It's the same way we go through life. There is leprosy breaking out on our walls. There is leprosy in the fabric. There is leprosy deep down within in the timbers. Why? Because there is leprosy deep down. And when there is leprosy deep down, God has to go inside and uproot it and take it and send it to an unclean place out into the abyss. Well, that's what these priests were doing. The house had to be broken down, stone by stone, timber by timber, and had to be carried out to an unclean place. It could no longer remain in the house. What's inside of you can no longer remain it can no longer, you cannot afford to hide that bad boy in your house. You've got to expose it. You've got to get help extracting it. You've got to be delivered. You've got to be healed in order to get the victory. Because the problem that you're dealing with is not the issue. The issue is what you're not dealing with. Ask God to help you see it for what it really is and deal with it the way it needs to be dealt with. And don't be ashamed to confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that you might be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much.